Hi, my name is Julia. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a really fun reading. Um, yeah, I want to know what makes you so attractive? What makes you sexy? What is your sex appeal? So, you know, it is a Tuesday right now while I am recording this reading and Tuesday is ruled by Mars. And that gave me the inspiration to dive into some Martian type energy. So yeah, what makes you so sexy? So let's get right into it. So we're going to have four piles. Let me go ahead and show you the piles. For pile one, we have the clear quartz. For pile two, we have the malachite azurite. Pile two, the malachite azurite. Pile three, we have, oops, sorry. Pile three, we have the desert rose. Desert Rose for Pile 3. And for Pile 4, we have the beautiful Seashell. Seashell for Pile 4. So as per usual, timestamps will be in the description and in the comments. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys at your piles. Hi, Pile 1. If you chose the clear quartz, Pile 1, this is your reading. What is your sex appeal? What makes you so sexy? What makes you so attractive? So we're gonna get into it. So this might not be the longest message uh, reading, but um, it'll be a good one. And I'm gonna try my very hardest not to giggle and, and get all, you know, blushy and stuff because I, I always do when I do these subjects, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So, okay, so pile one, let's get into it. This is fascinating. Okay, pile one, I see, oh my God. Pile one, I see that you don't often see how attractive you are. Two of swords to the four of cups, how he's looking away. I don't think you see how many people are really find you so attractive, so sexy. Oh my God, yes, people, um, people are really drawn to the way that you talk, the way that you communicate, the way that you move. They find it so sexy. There's also this really great air of mystery about you, pile one. There's something very mysterious, something that people can't quite put their finger on. You might even be somebody who's like, say, I mean, you're, I feel like if you're watching tarot, you're probably obviously into spiritual topics, but um, I feel like you have a high spiritual energy and some of you might even be into some more occult topics. Um, maybe, maybe even an occultist here, but there's definitely a feeling of like priestess, priest, um, somebody who's very highly spiritual, somebody who's got a lot of knowledge, but there's it gives you this air of mystery that draws so many people to you. Like people are very drawn to you. People, um, I think who aren't spiritual are even, um, I mean, of course you draw in spiritual people too, but I could see that people who aren't spiritual are very drawn to this air of mystery around you. And it's like, they find it very attractive, very sexy. Now we're getting into it just a little deeper here. And I'm, I'm going to try to keep this as, um, you know, I guess PG-13 or, you know, YouTube friendly as I can. Um, there I go. I feel myself blushing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Pile one. You also have this shock value to you that people did not expect. And I'm talking about behind closed doors, like in the act. Here I go. I'm going to blush. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Pile one, I'm seeing it all over on this freaking tower card. <laughs> this is the vice versa card. So I know it's talking about the other person. And you see like there's this mask here and it's cracked. Like people get their face cracked. It is, they are shocked. It is, I'll just say what I'm hearing, an explosive experience for people. And I'm talking about like when you're doing, doing the deed, when you're doing whatever, that you get people where they're going with <laughs> Try not to blush <laughs> with no problem and that they are like oh my god it was like an, an explosive experience for them it was we'll just say the bomb like they got where they were going and and they are completely um yeah uh taken by you um yes yes something extremely sexy and there's and this is something i feel like it, it, um, with this high priestess i'm having right here it's also a very spiritual experience it's almost like they felt like Oh my God, this, it was out of this world is what I'm hearing. It was out of this world. And then I'm seeing something else here and I kind of picked up on an energy like this in another reading I did a while back. I think it was the one like, um, so who do you end up with? But um, yeah, for someone here, if not, I think probably quite a handful of you, 
I think you're in might be into something fetish or taboo and hey there's nothing wrong with that because we have the card also slave coming out <laughs> Ooh, pile one you naughty girls you naughty boys um well men and women you know but uh I'm noticing how she's all tied up. So somebody here might be into, you know, some kind of bondage, S&M, um, something to that nature. There might be something here about the exchange of power, of um, uh, trusting somebody to give them control. Ooh, I'm even hearing the word asphyxiation. Mmm, some of you guys are into some pretty interesting things. My goodness, pile one. I am really, yeah. And then there's also, and I don't care what you say right now on, oh, I don't like my body, or this, this, or that. I'm looking on the, this is a star card, but on this specific card, she's naked, and he's naked, and she's kind of like kneeled down, and he's like looking down at her, and there's a certain, um, I'm seeing like an eye contact of like, like, you know, when you're um, nude or when you're naked and there's like a, it's, oh God, I'm trying not to blush. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to keep this so YouTube friendly right now. Um, but it's like something about somebody admiring the way you look, your physique, when you're in a very vulnerable moment. And um, it's very, very sexy, very attractive. And I think there's, uh, you know, your partners you've been with have been um, very, Mm, satisfied. I'll leave it at that. We also have the King of Wands. Ooh, and it's vice versa. And so this isn't gender specific. So you can be male or female. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, I mean, not that it doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl, but um, it's this is what whoever's watching. You know, um, it's something about um, your partners being very attracted to you, but sometimes they try not to show it because they don't want to look desperate. Um, I'm seeing something about that here. Also, I mean, oh, there's something too that's, there's a, as, as much as there, this is so interesting, it's almost an interesting paradox I'm feeling here. There's like, there's something here about, even though there's like this air of mystery, and a lot of, I feel like, um, I feel like you're very, you know, have, you're experienced in, in, doing certain things, or I'm trying to find the best way to say this. You guys are making me get all tongue-tied on my words because I'm trying to get not get all giggly because I, if, if I have makeup on right now, you guys would see how much I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, mm, pile one. Okay, so let's keep going. But okay, so let me see how I'm gonna say this. There's a certain like almost like purity or naivete um, or it's like a vulnerability in you that um, the people you're with, your partners, find like so sexy. They're so attracted to it. It as like it's a big turn on, huge turn on. It's um, yeah, um, mm -hmm. and especially here. Okay, and then coming out down here, yeah, with this Taurus in reverse, you know, it's like something about the bull, like taking action. It's like, oh my God, are you are you? I'm hearing the word submissive. It's something about the vulnerability of being submissive, of maybe let perhaps it's either because energy is very fluid, so it's either that you're really good at being. Oh my God, it's, yeah, it's, it's like all over this reading. Someone here has huge, like, is into something really taboo or has like a big fetish because it's something here about being either like, I just use the word sub or dom, you know, it's something about that you let somebody else take control or that you're very good at like grabbing the bull by the horns, we'll just say, like taking the lead, taking control. So you're on one side or the other and whichever it is, whoever you're with, they are so attracted to it. There's, that, there's something you do We'll say extremely well here. Neptune in reverse. Oh my goodness, yes. You are capable of mirroring people's fantasies. And it's something in your spiritual energy where people, I think, try to project their fantasy on you or they see what their fantasy, it's like you become, you hold a certain spiritual energy with this Neptunian energy where you are capable of embodying what people's fantasies or dream girl, dream guy is and um, probably give them the experience of their dreams or of their fantasies, we'll say, and they love it. I'm also seeing here, yes. Yeah, yeah. a lot of you don't, I, I think a lot of you either, it's either you know these things about yourself, but maybe you forget how sexy you are because coming out here with this, up here with this two of swords is you don't see this. 
it's almost like a lot of you don't see this about yourself or maybe you forgot or maybe you don't see it all the time or maybe you don't see how much attra how much attraction you have and how many people are find you attractive and very sexy um mm, don't forget yeah as, and then i've got that in i could definitely have somebody here who has some heavy leo placements or somewhere in your big three but you don't have to because we do have the sun and leo coming out but um i'm on this leo card i'm being drawn to um i can't tell if this is necessarily a male or female because like i said it doesn't matter anyways this isn't gender specific but there's something here in the hair and so whether it's it, it but it's the way it's falling out it's kind of even kind of messy so whether what however it is that you know you do your hair whether it's um you style it really nice or if you just like let it go like messy like you know how like some people are able to do like that messy bun or you know it's that looking like like how they would say beach waves like just you know there's whatever it is there's it gives to your physique a lot and people are really attracted to it and it's very sexy very attractive um let's see um then also last but not least down here what i'm seeing is ascendant it's it's the way you look it's the way you come across it's the way you express yourself and it's also your outlook on life that people are really attracted to they find it really sexy and last but not least we have chiron here and you know what i'm hearing is i'm hearing that a lot of you if not all of you just recently are you know either at current or recently or even in the just overall in the past you know few years have really done a lot of healing and because of that it's um raised your vibration it's raised your frequency you have ha it's given you a like energetic glow up there is a glow to you you're glowing whether you see it or not you are you've done a lot of healing and it's 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 you, people can feel it in your energy and see it in your appearance it's very attractive it's very beautiful and so i love this for you pile one so that is what i have for you i hope you love this because i love this energy for you y'all made me blush like probably at least three times <laughs> so um i hope you feel called to like and subscribe if you're new here i'm going to take it to pile two hi pile two if you chose the malachite azurite pile two this is your reading what is your sex appeal? What makes you so sexy? What makes you so attractive? So let's get into it. I am going to try my very best not to get all giggly because I always do when I do these kinds of readings or these topics come up. I You wouldn't guess that I'm in my 40s. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is a Tuesday when I'm recording this. So we are channeling the Mars energy. So ooh la la, let's do it. Okay, so first and foremost, pile two you is sexy mm -hmm. uh, there's some big siren energy i'm seeing here and i'm hearing that you don't chase you attract mm -hmm. that's what i'm hearing mm -hmm. i see it all over these cards too so coming out first we have the ace of wands i mean need i say more pile two Ooh, you sexy beast mm -mm -mm. so um and it's interesting though because it is coming out in reverse but i'm not getting that means like it's a no thing it's something about the way that you leave people wanting more that you don't give in right away it's like something about you leave people having a thirst or like a hunger for you like oh i must have that and it's like it's like something about this slight waiting game i think that you have people doing that keeps them wanting more and more like oh she's driving me crazy or he's driving me crazy like oh why are they playing this game with me and i'm not saying you're a game player but there's, you might even do it unknowingly, but there's something you do that leaves people just ugh, wanting more like, ooh, I've got to have that. And it is so sexy to people. It is so attractive. Um, I also see that, uh, and this could possibly, or this part might be for like maybe people who, you know, you've connected with before, but um, people um, find it very uh, sexy and attractive the way you sleep or when you're not looking, like maybe when you're just laying there and you're lost in your thoughts, there's something... People just, I think they love to look at you. They love to watch you when you're not, when you don't notice them watching. Like if, you know, like say you have um, a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you guys are like laying in bed together and you're like off in your thoughts or on your phone. I think they like to watch you. Like there's, they just, ugh, they look at you and they're like, God, he or she is just so freaking beautiful. Like there's something like that here. Also, I'm hearing that you're um, very giving though. You, um, oh God, here we go. I'm going to start blushing. <laughs> I'm hearing the words, okay, aim to please. I hear you aim to please. 
we'll just take that for what it means, okay? But um, that you aim to please. You're very giving. It says the king, the, the the Knight of Pentacles, how he's like giving this to the Knight of Cups. You aim to please, and people are very satisfied. People get exactly what they were wanting with you. Um, when when people, if and when people do get the um, experience of experiencing you pile two it's very satisfying for them is what i'm hearing and it keeps them coming back people often want to come back uh uh but i'm hearing though that you you're not a um f boy or f girl energy that you're not out there being with everybody and people are actually very attracted to that people have noticed that about you that you're uh selective Selective, choosy, picky with who you actually will let experience you. And people feel there's something, uh, it's, uh, what's the word? I, uh, it's exquisite? Elite? No, it's exclusive. <laughs> I was trying, I felt it coming in the word, but I couldn't get it. But there's something exclusive. Like you're, it's being with you, it's an exclusive experience. It's an exclusive connection. People know that. You know, it's not something that's readily or easily, you're not, you're not a side, a side item. You're not available to everyone. You know what I mean? And, and people find that so attractive. People are so drawn to that. Um, I'm also seeing here on this, I mean, come on, Queen of Wands, hello. Whether you're male or female, you're so, you're attractive. And I feel in this pile, you know it. You know there's something very magnetic, alluring, and attractive about you. And uh, I feel also too, because we have here coming out Femme Fatale in Reverse, and like I said, this is not gender specific, but this is just telling me is that you know you hold a certain power that if you wanted to, you could abuse that power. And by, or I'll just say very much use it to get whatever you wanted, but I feel with this being in Reverse, you don't abuse it. I feel you're somebody who knows you could if you wanted to. You know you have a certain magnetism, a certain sexiness to you, that if you wanted to, ooh, baby, you could really have your way with a lot of people, but that you don't abuse it. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you leave a lot of people just, ooh, pile two, thirsting for more. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing here on this Queen of Wands, there's like this statue here. I think you actually might even be somebody who gets almost like, I'm hearing the word, um, I know this might sound strange, but like cult following, and I don't mean that like actual cult, but as they would say, is like you get certain people who get really attached to your energy, who follow you, who worship you, who worship the ground you walk on, who, who the, the ground you walk on, who would do anything for you. And I feel that you don't, I don't feel like I feel an energy in this pile of anybody who takes advantage of that, but it is there. Like if you, like people, I think you know you get people who get really attracted to you and like leech onto your, not leech, we'll say it attached to your energy and just find your energy delicious is the word in here they find your energy delicious Ooh, yes yes and i feel and i and i and a lot of that here again with the three of cups in reverse is because they people know i think they feel like people can feel in your energy that you're very giving very pleasing very satisfying but that you don't give to just anybody it's like i said it's exclusive it's like ooh, this is not something that just anybody can get um it's, it's interesting i'm hearing it's almost like uh people have to have a specific taste or uh, it's like it's so weird i'm trying to explain this energy the best i can and i hope that you're following but it's like um you know when there's like a wine connoisseur and they have a refined palate and so you might go to like a restaurant and you see the different wines it's like only somebody who's got that eye because they they know the differences in wines would see it and know like ooh, this is exquisite and i've got to have that so there's like people who like will notice there's something very exquisite about your energy i think you get a lot of people who are very attractive but there's some people who will notice this there's a rarity or a uniqueness to you and they're like i must have that and i i, I don't know if that that those kind like that specific kind i think you get those and they become like the ones who like they would worship you now how often that kind ha comes along i don't know because it's somebody would actually have to have that eye and exquisite taste to see how um exclusive and rare you are mm -hmm. but it is there Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there is, uh, I, I'm seeing here too in this, okay, I was, I had to make sure because I was, I forgot the number for a second if this was the emperor or the 
Hierophant. This is a Hierophant um, coming out in, in reverse or vice, vice versa. So what this is telling me is that there's also something that's unconventional about you or the way you carry yourself. And if not that, it's that you attract some, you might attract people who are there, have something very, very unconventional about them. It might be um, the way they look, the way they carry themselves, uh, the, they might have an unconventional belief system. So it's one or the other because the energy is very um, fluid here. So I'm feeling that's either you, you might have some an unconventional belief system or uh, an unconventional job or the way you carry yourself or that's something that you attract mm hmm yes um, mm -hmm. yeah there's also this is interesting so I'm right here we're having um father and prince and right away what I'm hearing is um, I'm well my, I'm actually first and foremost on the father card God, you guys are gonna make me blush it's just like in power one I always get like this let me try not to get all put the energy wherever it applies. Some of you, um, like I say, if you're a guy, you might be, you might like to be called daddy. Um, if you're a female, you might like to, you might be one of the ones who likes to call your partner daddy or something like that. I'm also being, <laughs> I'm also being drawn to where it says on the card, um, talent for creating life. So it's telling me that behind closed doors, baby, oh, you is talented. Like, you know what you're doing. You do know what you're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then also we have Prince here, and what I'm, I'm, it says romantic charm. You're very charming. Oh my God, you have something very charming in your personality. It and it charms people. It does. Um, and then down here, um, with all that attraction, um, you know, of I, 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 when I first started pull these cards out, I heard, I don't, baby, I don't chase, I attract. Um, on this Pisces card, I'm being drawn to the mermaid. Oh. oh. Oh, did you see that? How she just slipped right out of my hands? Oh, there's people who try to get their hands on you, and I hear you just slip right out of their hands. On that um, mer mermaid, I'm being drawn to a siren. There's something, you have old a siren energy where it's like, almost like you don't have to do much, but it's like something in your energy just calls people into you where they're like, pile two, I'm, I'm gonna have me some of that pile two. Oh, I'm gonna get me some of that. And um, I don't think all of them actually get to get that because I do feel there's something really exclusive here. But oh boy, with this Mars, the way he was looking at that mermaid, that siren, which, and like I said, not gender specific, but the people, they want it. They want to go for it. And I and I feel that also too, there's something in the way that when you do see something you want and you go after it, people find it very sexy. Very sexy. Mm -hmm. Very sexy. Um, and it's... Um, uh, I guess I, there's something about uh, with this Aries in reverse, it's, oh God, I kind of got this energy, I wonder if I'm going to get it in all the piles, it's interesting, because I heard, I was getting kind of an energy of, um, you know, I'm trying to keep this YouTube friendly, where it's that you are, know how to be subordinate, or to be, uh, like to let somebody else take the lead when you and and give it's like when you find the right person you want you know how to let them take the lead and you know how to you know follow follow suit or you you'll let them lead I'll just leave it at that we're gonna leave this YouTube friendly <laughs> okay um mm, yeah Sagittarius reverse ooh uh. I feel you're very, that people are also very attracted to how much knowledge you hold. I feel you are somebody very smart, maybe very even philosophical or well-educated. People are attracted to that. Um, but also there's people who want to, I, I feel, who would even travel to you, who would want to come travel to you. You might have people who live afar, who um, you might even have long distance, have had, or at current maybe have like some kind of, or you have in the past or will in the future, long distance relationships or somebody who's maybe not on the same side of town as you, but people would be willing to travel to come see you. Oh baby. Yes. And yeah, and see with that Aries and then in this card, the semi sextile, it's because there's something about allowing, like you allow, um, it's like, uh, you attract it to you, but then when you get what you want, it's like you allow somebody to take the lead, to take the reins and people find that so sexy and so attractive to you very sexy and i'm seeing here something about like in this uh just before we close this out um in this card she's like wrapped in a sheet it's like when you have almost um i'm i'm hearing you look very good naked and whether you like your body or not because i can already hear it like feel it there's some people who are like oh i don't like the way i look no whether you like it or not there's something about when you're naked or almost naked or like like under the, under the between the sheets you know that um whoever you're con connecting with your partner whoever just so attracted to you. They find you so sexy. Very attractive. Yes. 
So, um, yeah. Ooh, you sexy beast. Pile two. Mm -hmm. Got some sirens up in here. So that's what I have for you today. I hope uh, you will feel called to like and subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. I'm going to take it to pile three. Hi, pile three. If you chose the desert rose, pile three, this is your reading. What makes you so attractive? What's your sex appeal? What makes you so sexy? Yes, on this Tuesday that I'm recording this, I decided let's channel some Mars energy. So here we are. Um... I'm going to do my very best not to get all giggly like I do on these topics. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. But um, I'm going to get right into it. So, uh, And I'm going to try my very best to keep this YouTube friendly. So let's go. So okay, so pile three. I see here coming out first and foremost, you're starting off with the Ten of Cups. So um, I want to say that um, you make people happy. One of the most attractive things about you is that you make people happy. Um, I, I, and I'm hearing some of you aren't fully aware of how happy you make people, but I believe that you do, because it's coming out next to this, like, the, um, six of wands in reverse, like, I don't know if you're aware of how many people you actually make happy, that people are so happy to see you, happy to be around you, you uplift their spirits. I'm also being drawn to that, um, there, there's something about the garments that they're wearing in this card, um, that you look good. You might not dress up all the time, but when you dress up, um, I'm hearing, oh baby, you sharp, you look good, like, mm, I'm hearing showstopper, like people, people do it, mm, double, who is that, oh my god, something about that, so it might not be that you dress up all the time, but when you do, oh, I hear you look good, you look nice, you know how to, to the nines, right, um, also, um, people feel very comfortable in your presence, People, you make people feel comfortable. There's something, I feel like you're, somebody who might have like, um, what do they call that? Um, I mean, I'm hearing that Southern hospitality. You don't have to be from the South, but there's something about you're um, a good host. Uh, when you come over, you know, you make people feel very comfortable, very, you're very welcoming. Um, mm -hmm. And people are very attracted to that. They like that they can feel comfortable around you to let their, you know, as they might say, let their hair down. Um, mm, now here we go. Now we're gonna get into it. Yes, so. I love this. We have the Seven of Cups. I mean, oh God, please don't laugh at me. I mean, what, 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 what's your better to see me? <laughs> Sorry. So, um, yes, I hear that um, some of you might be into role play. Uh, or, and, well, there's multiple things. You see there's Seven Cups here. I'm hearing that you're willing to try new things. Um, and, and you see there's something about how she has a sheet on. Like, it's like something about dressing up or playing a part. Um, there's different things you're willing to try. There's different things you're good at. You're um, willing to play out, like you, you're, I feel you're the kind of energy that would want to know your partner's fantasy and play and make that their fantasy come to life. And that people are so attracted to that, that they, you know, you become exactly what their fantasy boy, fantasy girl is, or man or woman, I should better say. Also, this is really interesting. I am, I'm hearing something interesting with this Three of Swords. I'm hearing that you actually attract, and this, and you know, energy is very fluid, so this can be vice versa, um, make it fit where, whichever side you land on, but there's something here about um, heroes, and I know that sounds weird, like, people don't know where you're getting heroes from this, but, um, some, okay, let me better say it. It's either that when you are at a place where you're deeply hurt, I feel you attract people who want to come in, and I don't mean like necessarily like a hero, but people who want to come in and, and help you, heal you, save you, or, or it's vice versa, that when you see somebody um, who's hurting, or like a, say somebody who you love who's who's hurting, or that you're connected with and they're hurting, that you come in and you, the, the way you're able to come in like and to heal them, to help them, to save them. This is, so either which other, whichever side of that you land on, I feel like you're following. Um, people are very attracted to that. I'm hearing here too here that um, you you're um, willing to give. You're not just somebody who takes, takes, takes. You give, and um, that uh, you're willing to start. It's interesting. I don't know what that means. Make that however that translates to you. That you're willing to give. Oh my God, spirit, don't make me blush. <laughs> Willing to, I'm just gonna say it what I, as I heard, willing to give first. That's all I'm gonna say. Whatever that means to you. <laughs> Whatever that means to you. <laughs> Where do you guys go? I get this, every single pile so far has made me blush. And you probably can't tell because I have makeup on, but my ears are probably bright red if you could see them too. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I'm hearing that you uh, look good for your age. Some of you might look a lot younger than you actually are. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you look very good for your age, whatever age you are, whether you're younger, or older, more mature, you look great for your age is what I'm hearing. Oh my God, the spirit is having fun with me right now. So on this, um, yeah, on this two, <laughs> okay, yeah, on this two, I'm trying not to giggle. On this two of pinnacles, I, it's, it's from the back. I'm hearing you look, you look good from the back. Got her girl, take that however you want. You look good from the back. Um, I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing, I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> I'm trying not to be corny, but as, as these come in, I'm just saying them as, as it's coming to me. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and you're loving, you're loving, but you don't give your love to everybody and people find that very attractive about you. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that people who had a chance with you uh, but messed it up end up thirsting uh, for you for a long time. They end up wanting you. Um, I'm hearing the word sprung on you um, for a long time afterwards. Like, man, I thought I had that. I, I thought I was going to have that forever. I thought I had them thirsting after me and it ends up leaving them wanting you for a very long time afterwards thinking about everything good about you and then be, they, it's, it's like they become forever ooh interesting they're forever forever attracted to you forever wanting you mm -hmm. i'm hearing you're not slow i'm hearing uh, once again I'm hearing you, you're quick to go when you know what you want it's like there's nothing holding you back you go for it and you're not going to be slow to go after it uh-huh, and I'm, I'm hearing that you also have people quick to want to come towards you. Um, as soon as the people get into your energy and they get in and, and they, they start feeling really comfortable, there's, I'm hearing there's no turning back. That's it. They know you're the one. They want you. Oh, my God. Here goes Spirit again. So, um, on this Four of Swords in Reverse, I'm hearing no sleep. Here you have great stamina, pile three. Um, I'm hearing the word stamina with this. It's because, you know, four swords is sleep, rest. There's no rest because you have great stamina is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing when you're, you can, where you can go all night. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this so YouTube friendly, but I like totally like channeled the energy of Mars since we, it is a Tuesday when I'm recording this and Mars is coming through for y'all. <laughs> And you know what people really find attractive about you, Pile 3, is that you don't, you're not a fighter. You don't bicker. You're not petty. Like, I'm, I mean, I guess you could be petty when the time calls for it. But that you're not, like, one of those people who likes to fight over little petty things. Like, you're somebody who's pleasant to be around. People love to be around you because you make it a pleasant, a pleasure, a pleasure, here we go, Mars. <clears throat> a pleasurable experience that you don't bicker. Or you're not argumentative, like, oh, my God, picking people apart. You don't. You know, part of my French bitch and whine about stupid things, and people. So people love to be around you because you're you're easy to be around. You're somebody who's com like comforting. You're you make it. Um, you're very welcoming. You don't pick. You're not picking and prodding at little things, and people love that. Oh my god. I'm hearing also too that you're open to trying new things. That uh, it, whoever that whether it's your partner or whoever you're connecting with at the time. Um, with this engineer, it's like if somebody has an idea or something new they want to try, you know, behind closed doors, to cheat, something that you're open to trying new things, and you're open to experimenting is what I'm hearing with that engineer. Uh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Check you out. Okay, Venus. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, you're very romantic. There's something very romantic in your energy. People love that. They're very attracted to it. Um, and then you got people who want to be very romantic with you. Moon, ooh. You're very intuitive, you're very spiritual, you're very in touch with, um, what, with, with like, okay, say quick, like, if, you're making me get tongue tied here, pound three, check you out. Um, so when you're connecting with somebody, you're able to, like, connect to what their subconscious is. So, and that doesn't mean fears, but you could navigate those two, but it's almost like what their secrets are, what, what, what the parts of them that they hide, whether if they have secret fantasies, things they want to try. It's like you can connect to that and make them feel safe to explore those things. So you make a safe space for somebody to open up um, in an intimate setting and people feel very attracted. They, are, they find that very sexy, very attractive. 
Mm, I feel like this came out in another pile. I think maybe it was pile one, Pisces in reverse. Yes, people might, like just say how people like say project fears onto people, just the same, I feel people might try to project a fantasy or a, a dream, a, a, an image of what they want their dream man or dream woman to be and you're able to, with your high, because I feel you have a high spiritual energy, you're able to be, to embody whatever it is that dream, become that dream man, dream woman. You're you're like their, some, a lot the people you connect with, you become their fantasy lover, the fantasy man, fantasy woman, what they, you become what their, it is that they were dreaming of or what they were fantasizing about, you're able of doing that capable of doing that. Ooh, double Scorpio from two different decks out of the board. Baby, I hear, let me try not to start giggling and get all blushing again. I hear that it is a soul merging experience with you. Behind closed doors, it is like transforming. It is healing. It is, it's, you, it's actually a spiritual experience for your partners. It is a very powerful experience and it actually transmutes the energy of what you're, when whoever you're connecting with, when you got, when you, I'll just be blunt, I'm just gonna try to say this as YouTube friendly as I can, when you sleep with somebody, the spiritual experience that happens is actually a, a form of alchemy. It's almost like, as they would say, Tantra. Like it actually alchemizes the type of connection you have and makes it a, even, it's like it raises the vibration of your spiritual connection. That's the best way I can explain it. People feel like they become someone new in, in when they mesh with your spiritual energy. Sex with you is actually a spiritual act. I'll put it to you like that. And people are, ch are changed by it. They're transformed by it. And whether they ever actually, some of them might not come out and say it, but they are. And it's very attractive to them. It leaves them wanting more. It's very, yeah, and worth note, it's healing. It's very healing for them. Yeah, you're the ideal lover. Very sexy. You're very sexy. People find you very attractive. Mars, mm -hmm. And you go, because you go with the flow. You're, you're not somebody where people feel like they've hit a lot of resistance in your energy. It's like, you can read into what, when your lovers, your partners, you can read into what they want and what they like. And it's like, you're able to make that happen. And it's a spiritual experience for them. It's actually something healing and transmuting. Wow. Check you out, pile three. Mm -mm -mm, you sexy beast. <laughs> I love this energy. I love this for you. I can tell this is a highly spiritual pile. So if you're new here, I hope you'll feel called to like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and take it to pile four. Hi, pile four. If you chose the seashell, pile four, this is your reading. What makes you so sexy? What is your sex appeal? What makes you so attractive? So, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys, like I said in the other piles, I'm going to try to keep this as YouTube friendly as possible. And I will try my very hardest not to giggle because I always do during these kinds of topics. I don't know why. I wouldn't guess that I'm in my 40s, but I am. Still act like a little girl sometimes. <laughs> but okay. I'll try not to blush too much. So let's get into it. Um, oh, wow. Wow, pile four. Wow. Here I go, I can already feel, <laughs> feel myself wanting to blush. Oh my god, okay. Pile four, you wanna know what is so sexy about you? Is I see that you put in the work. And I mean this in like many areas, like especially we'll just say behind closed doors, you put in the work to like you go the distance. Like you pay you pay especially with your lovers. You pay close attention to detail, and I'm hearing you, oh, here I go, I'm trying not to blush, you aim to please, like you aim to please, like you learn your lovers, and you know what they like, and then you pay close attention to detail, and you take care of their needs. I'll say it like that, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to keep this so YouTube friendly, but these are the cards I'm seeing, like you put in a lot of work, and you go. You go the distance to make sure that your partner, your lover is happy. You take care of them. You take care of their needs. You And you know how, and oh, and you're smart. You know, you know how to do, you know how to do what you're doing. Like you're very, how, you're very skilled. Pile four. <laughs> try not to, try not to get all giggly. Mm -hmm, Y'all making me blush already. If I wasn't wearing makeup, you'd be you see these bright pink cheeks right here, I'd be all red. <laughs> you know, 
you know how to do what you do and you're very skilled and you do you doing it and doing it and doing it well is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, I feel that you you make some of your. Uh, I'm hearing that you make some of your uh, lovers, partners, your partner shy, almost shy because it's like they get all like when they get all vulnerable and afterwards like I feel that it's a quite a um, breathtaking experience I'm hearing with you and that. Afterwards, they feel like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I hear, I'm hearing you're, um, you're very skilled and know how to do what you're doing and you put the work in, you pay close attention to detail. You're coming out here, Don Juan. Ooh, I'm healer. I'm hearing you're good with your hands. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Pile four, who are you? Y'all making me feel all young again. <laughs> okay. Bring it back down. Centered. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Oh. And then here on this card, the turtle, I'm hearing slow and sl slow and steady wins the race. I'm hearing you take your time. Oh, pal, for you get people who get so you in the bedroom. Wow, you get. I'm trying to keep this so PG right now. You, but you with your partners, like you're a whole experience. I'm hearing. I'm hearing you are a whole experience, and you take your time. And what people also like the people who you've been with and connected with or know you, what they love about you is that you don't broadcast your experiences. You're not somebody who, as they would say, kiss and tell. Like you don't tell about your partners you've been with. You don't open up and talk about them to other people. You don't say, oh yeah, like if, like, like say for instance, if you're a guy, you're not like, oh yeah, I smashed that girl and she was like this or that, or this is what she looks like without clothes. Like you're not like that. You don't kiss and tell. Very, very much just giving, um, the, there's a clap, like, it's something really sexy too. Uh, there's a certain amount of class here that you hold. And this is whether you're male or female. I was just giving the guy thing as an example. Um, but it's, there's a lot of class. You don't you don't broadcast or put people on front street. You don't give people some like you don't give people the space and opportunity to talk about the people you've been with. Like because you have like a certain amount of respect. Like a like it's like this is that grown woman, grown man energy, and it's so sexy and people find it so attractive. Mm hmm yes yes you do not give off like you're very skilled you know how to do what you're doing and you go the mile to make sure your partners are satisfied and all the while you're not doing it in like f boy or f girl energy and it is so sexy oh my god it's so sexy i'm hearing you're very good with your hands people like you know how to make the people you're with relax and feel comfortable and just they just melt. I love it. Um, yeah, people also, it's interesting because this came out, this card came out just like this in like three of the piles. This Pisces in reverse, which is giving me a really like Neptunian energy, which is telling me like you know how to become somebody's like fantasy, like you're like their dream lover boy or lover girl or should I say man or woman like you're like the dream you become like that dream man or dream woman like they've never it's I feel like people you're a whole experience for people where it's like wow I've never had somebody pay so close attention to me and what my needs and wants were and this person made me feel so satisfied and they took care of like all every need I came out like I was you know I got where I was going <laughs> I'm trying to keep this so YouTube friendly oh my god if I didn't have makeup on, I would be so bright red. Like, you'd see how bright red I am. My ears are probably bright red right now, like everything. <laughs> okay, ooh, Mercury and Aquarius. Oh my God. And you get into people's heads. And I don't think you're doing it as like in a way to try to play games. But I think a lot of people have never had somebody who pays that close attention to the detail about them and takes care of them and takes their time. And it's like, this is giving the feeling of like, um, with, I know it's a healer, but they're bringing me to the hands. And it's like, Oh my gosh, I'm trying to keep this on YouTube running. It's like foreplay, like, like you know, rubbing your partner down, making them feel relaxed, making sure they feel good, make sure they're taken care of, you know, and it, it, this gets into people's heads where it's like afterwards, like people are thinking about like, oh my God, that was so good. Like, wow, pile four blew my mind. It's, a, it's like that, you get in people's heads. And then people also feel like a spiritual connection to you where it's like, um, you might even get a lot of people and you, you, have, you probably might like you know um, have had like mates, you know soulmates or even a twin flame. But aside from that, you get other people who I, I feel like you get a lot of people who come across you feel like you're their soulmate or twin flame, even when they're not, um, because the experience was so intense and pleasing for them that they're like, oh my god, this must be the love of my life and my soulmate. Like I've never had somebody connect with me like this. Is this my twin flame? Like, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, sure, I do believe you probably do. I, I'm not, this isn't that reading where I'm reading about 
love like twin flames and soulmates but i'm just saying and so you probably very well could or do have one but i'm just saying i feel you get other people who aren't who feel like oh, this must be the one because it's that good of an experience for them okay i'm scared of you Puffer. yeah a lot of people would love to come together with you i am um, i'm hearing a, a, some of you might not it's um, how do i explain this energy it's like almost like people might not expect it but once they experience you and the the way you make them feel the way you pay attention to the detail the way you know how to do what you're doing the amount of skill you have people are like man this is the one i want i'm conjunction i need to come together with this person like they are the one people oh oh my god virgo in the fifth house you pay so close attention to detail when it comes to doing the deed. The fifth house, this is a pleasure. This is also, this, there's two houses that really fall into like, well, I'll just say like, you know, sex. Like, you know, which is like mostly the fifth and the eighth. You know, eighth house has a lot of like the fetishes and taboos and you could probably, you know, because you know how to read into what you're, you know lover or your partner likes you're probably very skilled at that too but uh, it's just that you are very skilled and detail oriented when it comes to things of a pleasurable nature i'll just say it like that and it's <laughs> spirit here we go <laughs> oh my god how four who are you <laughs> i'm just being drawn to this egg right here this egg cracking open People get where they're going. People reach their climax. It's never, people, there's never a like, oh, we never made it, we never got where we were trying to go experience with you is what I'm hearing. And I'm so trying not to blush. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna end this here because I'm probably like 50 shades of red. I could feel it all over my face. So. <laughs> yes, pile five. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't even remember what pile, there's not even five piles when I was reading pile four. <laughs> Y'all have me at a loss for words. Um, you sexy beast. <laughs> this is what I have for you today. <laughs> Probably gonna go take myself a nice cool shower right now. <laughs> but yes, um, I hope this resonated. If it did, I hope you feel called to like and subscribe if you're new here. Sending you guys so much love. I will see you guys at another reading.